Hi folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Hope you're doing well out there. Hey, I want to do a video today on uh, on setting up and trying to make your brand new layout in X Lights make it a little bit more easy to navigate in the sequencing tab. So um, I had a question from a fellow user who was uh, just getting started and he wanted to create a new sequence and then every time he created a new sequence he found he had to go in and add all of this uh, uh, all of this, the uh, elements, the uh, sequencing, the props that that were in the display. He wanted to add. He had to add them all added every single time he started a new sequence. Well, what I wanted to do is I want to take you through uh, two things that will help you. First, here's this master view. This is automatically like the main view. You always start with one view of your display. And what this does is this is kind of a way to um, combine together things that you want to show uh, show in the sequencing screen. Now if I right click and let's edit the display elements, what we can do here is we can add into the display elements, the elements that are going to be here, we can just begin clicking on absolutely every model. Now if you're from uh, the mindset of, uh, for example, Lightarama, where uh, every every single individual channel had its own individual line. This is going to look a lot more familiar to you. So you have all of your stuff right here. Now, um, what you can do now, once you've added it to this display element, to this master view, then you can go ahead and close this out. And uh, let's, I want to just go back here. I saw this is red. I'm going to click Save. Uh, and what the, well, what we have here is we have our master view and now everything in here is going to automatically show up because we've changed our master view to show every prop that is in the display. Now something else I want to show you is in the layout tab. Um, if we push on the start channel what it will do is it'll order from top to bottom or from bottom to top you can do it again and it'll stop to it'll start the last uh, start channel what I wanted to do now is we need to create in my opinion we need to create what we'll call groups and if you go in and right click up in the model group setting or the model uh, page setting you can add group now at this point you can create the name for your group and let's call it windows now that we've created this new windows uh, model group what we can do is we can come down here and we can whoops we can come down here and we can find everything that is window related and lump it into one group. We can use this arrow button over. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just click all of them in there. And let's go ahead and save that. Once we've uh, created that group, now we have uh, a group for Windows. Next, let's do uh, another group. Let's right click and let's add a group. And let's call this Roof Lines. There we go. And uh, let's do uh, lower roof one and two. Uh, lower roof, and let's see, there's got to be uh, upper roof. There we go. Now, something we can do if you think, I think top down whenever I'm sequencing. Uh, so I can always put the roof up here, the top roof left, and then I can do the same thing upper roof right. Uh, right there we go. And I always think. Uh, left to right, so from left to right, top down. Um, so let's go back into that roof lines, and I'm going to reorder this so that the left, this one here, is on the left. Now it doesn't really matter um, because the upstairs and the downstairs they have their own channels. Uh, they're 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 all ordered the way that I have them set up here. The upper roof is all one channel, the lower roof is all one channel, and then the right roof is all one channel. So you you're actually only dealing with three separate outputs from three different dumb RGB controllers. So let's go ahead and save this. So now we have a second group. Let's go ahead and create our uh, third group. Let's go back to the windows first. Um, I added door in here. Let's go ahead and add the door in because that door kind of fits in there as well. And let's go ahead and move it up six. Yeah, so the door is right there. So um, then the last uh, the last group that we want to create is let's go in add group, right click, and then we'll do tree line. Click OK, and let's go in and find our trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're done click save 
And the final thing, the very final thing, is our we're going to add group, and we're going to add Santa and reindeer. Make it short plus. There we go. Okay, now that we've got them all set up, let's go ahead and add them. Reindeer over and Santa over. Now I'm because I'm specific, I like my Santa's on the left and my reindeer's on the right, so we'll do it top to bottom, left to right. Save. So now we have four groups. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into my sequencer tab and I'm gonna go back into this master view and I'm not well, instead of having the master view set up like this where all my props are just willy nilly everywhere. What if I right click and I edit display elements and let's create a new view. Let's add a new view. Let's call this and I this is what I do all groups. So now I have this all groups. If you come down here and you click the add, let's begin to look for our group names. So we have the roof lines, we have the reindeer. We have the windows, and there should be one more. Roof line, reindeer, and Santa plus deer. So let's add those. And now we can see that we have groups. Now you don't see the individual. Um, uh, oh, wait. Let's get rid of reindeer. Delete that guy. That, let's see. Add. It should be Santa and reindeer. What are we missing? We're missing something. Oh, tree line. That's what we're missing. Huh. Let's put that back in there. So now, I, I, if you're if you're uh, if you need this in a specific order, I usually like to put this in alphabetical order. So uh, R S T W R S T windows can move down. So that way, it's easier and faster for me to find it because I know the names of my groups. Uh, now, uh, one more one more group that I want to go ahead and, cre and create is let's go back into the layout and let's right click and let's add group and let's call this whole house model and when we do this whole house model I guess that's the easy way to say it we're just gonna add absolutely every single uh, uh, display element into the whole house model group we're just clicking the over button and that's everything there's no other groups that you can add we'll click save and then let's go back into the sequen sequencer tab and let's right click edit display elements and we'll go ahead and add our W for whole house model alright now basically in our all groups view we have absolutely everything we could possibly need to do any sequencing uh, some folks will take a group and create a view just for each group I find it simpler just to work within my groups and then open them up and uh, and be able to sequence from this screen here and not use any other view whatsoever this is this has been the most efficient way for me to do my sequencing um, with that in mind let's go ahead and add a uh, a couple timing marks so let's go into settings and oh I'm sorry let's go into this over here the settings go into timings and we'll add a new timing and let's go to metronome but there's there's not many choices here because uh, this is a just a uh, effects sequence it's not a musical sequence we will go ahead and click OK and let's say every 3000 milliseconds there we go that's a couple and then let's get rid of this new timing thing okay Oop, cancel and done alright from here now that we have some timing marks let's go ahead and uh, open up our whole house preview let's see if I can find the edge of the screen stinking windows 10 there we go get rid of my outlines and borders and stuff whatever gotta love windows 10 anyway so there's our house preview and uh, and then well, why don't we go ahead and try dropping some effects just on the groups and uh, see what we come up with um, it's all normal there. Let's uh, let's uh, pick the bars effect. Let's go to the whole house because I think that's the one that most people are going to find is the most uh, useful one that they're going to find. So uh, the bars right now, the bars effect is right here is our effects settings, and we have it going up. And for this timing mark, 
uh, it goes up one entire time. We can change that to two and it will appear to go faster. And then let's go ahead and see if morph will work. So let's change the colors to red, green, and blue. How's that? So there's our there's our effects there with with our morph. I think that turned out pretty good. Well, I hope so far that this has been pretty helpful information that I put out. Uh, if you folks have any questions, feel free to leave uh, questions or comments in the area below. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care.